Thank you very much. Uh, I'm uh, very glad to be here. Uh, I was in the United States uh, only a week ago, and uh, that's why I feel rather free, because I'm not going back for another several months. I don't think I have to be afraid that I'll be stopped at the border saying, that you said that about our country? So uh, I'm going to be very honest today. Now, I'll talk about US-China, China, Japan, and US-Japan. Uh, Japan, uh, Japan uh, uh, US-China. The manner of uh, Trump administration is something a little bit more than a lot of us were expected. However, it is true that there are elements that has to be said sometime, and uh, like IPR. I thought we had gone through that in 70s and 80s, and Japan was told a lot, and we called it gaiatsu, uh, the foreign pressure. I thought, why is it not said to Chinese? Is it too big to complain? So I'm not trying to defend everything that Mr. Trump has been saying, but there's some truth in that as well. However, one concern is that uh, there's some similarity between maybe Mr. Xi and Mr. Trump. That is, they want to hear only about what they want to hear so from their surroundings. So that's the, something we have to be concerned. Japan, China. Now we are moving. Prime Minister was in Beijing yesterday, greeted very warmly. First time in seven years. It's China that has changed because of the international environment. They have come around to us, I think. Uh, and I think it's very good. The, now the key word is from competition to cooperation. However, we will not change partners. One uh, example, Pew Research Center of the United States had a uh, res uh, research uh, re uh, uh, issued on October the 1st, only three weeks ago, in, it, in which they wow. asked around in many countries of the world which would be the leader in the future, China or United States. Only two countries in the world said, people said, 80, more than 80% of people said it should remain as United States. They asked in France, they asked in UK, they asked in Germany, they asked in Bank, Thailand, Korea, everywhere. But only two countries. That was United States and Japan. So Japan, Japanese people still have a big confidence in the United States because of, I think, the values. Freedom of speech, democracy, human rights, which we don't share 100% with China. Third, Japan-US relations. I think uh, it's pretty good because we've been able to manage problems. Bilateral issues, we have just agreed on trade on goods and it's pity that U.S. have uh, opted out from uh, TPP, UNESCO, Paris Accord, but I think we are going to do by ourselves with other countries, like-minded countries, and we can wait for United States to ch change mind and come back. It's not maybe this administration, but next administration, and we can wait. So, like the movie, 50 years ago, Shane, the movie Shane, I'm always saying, in the end, young boys calling out to Shane, come back, in the wild, Wyoming, uh, and I think uh, we always say, America, come back. And, uh, I think I really think that we can do that in two, three years. Now, lastly, a lot of people think that America has been so stable a partner, and it has moved. I don't take that view. So maybe, maybe Americans would like to defy me, challenge me, but look what happened in 1971 to 72. Mr. Nixon suddenly changed dollar gold policy.
he changed China policy. All of us were shocked because we were following blindly the United States when Brits and France has already moved out and supported uh, Beijing, but we were behind. In 1990s, uh, when Korea, North Korea was uh, dealing some, doing some bad things, Mr. Clinton said, we're going to give light water reactor to North Korea. What happened? Korea and Japan followed. Mr. Bush uh, came out and said, Bush 43 said, no way. And Mr. Bush started the Iraq war. Britain, uh, I'm sorry, uh, France and Germany no, said no. US and uh, Japan followed. Mr. Obama came out and said that was wrong. Now Mr. Trump is saying everything that Mr. Obama did was wrong. So when US comes out and say, hey, uh, we are going to play tango, let's play tango. We are going to say waltz, let's play waltz. That the disc jockey is always the United States. And we were dancing. And I think uh, uh, maybe the next leader will change the music and will change the tone. So I think we can wait. And uh, one last thing is that Americans are very smart people. They know that uh, the world institution that is made by United States, the best bene most beneficiary is United States. That's why US economy is so good. So they'll wake up sometime. Thank you. That's wonderful, Ichiro. Thank you very, very much. Um, it is true, I, I think the United States is a very difficult partner, very difficult date, very hard to predict, has lots of mood swings. That continues. Anyway, thank you very much.